Let's talk about this one a little bit. So this is a model that was recently submitted through Angled, and this is a model that I really, really like because this part is so well optimized for 3D printing, it's kind of ridiculous. So of course, it's a nut bowl, and the purpose of it is you put the unshelled nuts in the top, and then you put the shells in the bottom so that you don't have to have two bowls. It's a really kind of ingenious and wonderfully elegant design. Uh, we didn't have nuts, so we used uh, peanut M&Ms. So the reason that this uh, bowl is such a good design is because number one, it's very functionally created. Well, uh, the idea is to eliminate the need for two bowls. You can leave this out on a coffee table with some nuts in it. People can put their shells underneath. The shells are a little bit hidden, which is great. So it performs its function very well. But then also, it's just a beautiful design. It's very curved and has nice edges and a nice shape and good proportions all the way around. It's a very good design. But there's also another component to it, which is manufacturability. With mass production 3D printing or print on demand, you wanna be able to produce this as affordably as possible so that it can be printed and shipped to the customer, sell for a reasonable rate, and everybody is able to make money throughout the road. Most people who would design this would say, okay, I've got a bowl, print it like this on the build plate, just like so, and then we'll grow it up and there'll be support down in there that you gotta pull out somehow, but it can come out the hole, it's fine. Um, that's a very bad idea. This one was well designed because it's actually designed to print like this on the build plate, which means that not only do you have a reasonably consistent layer uh, appearance all the way around, whereas with this, you would have very clear rings at the top from whatever the resolution was. This is printed in about a medium resolution, so there's still layer lines, but they're not bad. Uh, printing it like this eliminates pretty much all needs for support. We put a little bit in there just because, but there's nothing internal, so the support that is out right here gets knocked right off, which is quick and easy, but it also sits on the bed to where very minimal surface contact is in the contact with the bed. So it breaks off of the bed very easily, both for people picking it, or if we ever have the machines auto eject variations of this, because there's different sizes. The one downside to printing like this is that this upper surface has a little bit of deformation from where the layers are coming together. And again, it's that very flat curve where each layer sends it further out into space which isn't ideal, but it smooths out very well. And when this is full of nuts, nobody can really see it. And then after that, there's like nut dust. So again, nobody really sees it. This is a kind of a non-issue. And yet at the same time, also sort of emphasizes that it's 3D printed, which is pretty cool. So overall, we just wanted to talk about this design and others like it that are just very, very well designed as a product and as a manufacturable 3D product. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please subscribe to the channel and let us know if there's other types of products that we ought to take a look at and explain why they're really good mass production 3D printed products. Have a good day, everybody.